higher biologist. Let's do this past paper question together. So this one says, routine blood tests are carried out throughout pregnancy to monitor the concentration of marker chemicals. Describe a problem with the results that would occur if a blood test is carried out at the wrong time during uh, pregnancy. So if it's carried out at the wrong time, that could lead to a false positive. Okay, false positive result, which means that Yes, we've got a positive result, but because it's carried out at the wrong time, it's actually a false positive result. Okay, part B, a blood test shows unusually low levels of a protein in a pregnant female's blood. After medical advice, a diagnostic test called amniocentesis was carried out. Suggest why amniocentesis was carried out instead of chronic villus sampling. Okay, now amnio, amniocentesis, has a lower chance of miscarriage. Okay, so quite often for that reason, it's the diagnostic test of choice. Okay, it has a lower chance of miscarriage. Okay, or you could say the inverse, of course, which is that CVS has a higher risk of miscarriage. Okay, uh, part C. Samples taken during the amniocentesis were used to culture cells and the following image showing the fetal chromosomes was then produced. Okay, um, give the name uh, of the image of chromosomes arranged in this way. This is called a, a karyotype. Okay, karyotype. And a karyotype shows all of the homologous pairs of chromosomes arranged in this pattern. State the term that's used to describe chromosomes 1 to 22. 1 to 22 are known as the autosomes. Okay, they're known as the autosomes. So when a condition is an autosomal condition, it means that the condition is located in the genes on one of these first 22 pairs of chromosomes. Sex-linked conditions are found on the X chromosome here. Okay, but that's not one of the autosomes. So that is different. All right. Okay, folks, I hope that's helped. I'll see you in the next one.